No Fish Nick here. Hey, I'm going to go a little further in depth on how my kayak's rigged. I had it for a couple weeks now, been using it. Um, there's some really awesome stuff about how we rigged it. And one of the key components was my uh, GPS uh, fish finder. It's a Humminbird 597 HD combo. It's, it was my ice fishing, um, it's an ice fishing combo. I think now uh, that unit got replaced though. It's uh, the, the new unit is a Helix 5, Humminbird Helix 5. But there's some really cool things about it I want to show you here. Transducer for my locator. It's on the bottom of the uh, native propel kayak. It's actually protected, like I can go over logs and, and all that. And the transducer is actually up in this hole. So it's totally protected. It is uh, loose, you know, it does bobble around a little, but uh, so far so good. I've been using it for a couple weeks. The cable comes through this uh, scrupper hole and goes through that grommet into the power uh, area and then back out to uh, this section. My locator is on my boat, my big boat right now. Originally this was purchased as a ice fishing combo and now it serves as my ice fishing slash on my three-wheeler slash kayak and a bow in my boat. So pretty pretty vital piece of equipment as far as for navigating and and uh, plus it's a fish finder so it's pretty awesome. I did have to buy a special another power cord uh, I bought a, a, its own power cord for the boat and then also for the kayak. And I just put everything on this ram mount ball system. And I just, I pull the head off, off of this. Off, and then I go over to the kayak and put it on the kayak. I also gotta take the arm. Show you the power system here. I'll undo it. Seven amp hour battery that powers the kayak. Um, we did wire this for for lights. We're gonna. I still have to buy LED boat lights. Right now, I have the one for my big boat um, that are regular lights that I can use. I will be ordering some just LED style ones. Still on a pole though. I want the, uh, a pole system. So if I know I'm not gonna be night fishing, I won't take them. If I am gonna night fish, I will take them then. All right. Here's the battery pack. Um, this goes down. This little blue box is key, and you can get it at Menards. We do have it Velcroed, uh, so down in the, down inside the kayak, we got a strip of Velcro right there. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, and that little box fits perfectly in that area because uh, it's got the right shape. So if you notice the shape of the kayak, how it's molded. Well, this little blue box fits in there absolutely perfect. So, just slide that in there. And actually, it goes nose first. The full nose goes right in that, there's an area in there where it slides right in. Okay, it's down in there and then uh, I just plug it in we uh, Roy rigged it so all, all I have to do is plug in and I'm gonna wind up uh, I have a pulse charger from extreme we're gonna hook that to a male 12 volt and eventually I'll be able just to plug the pulse charger in uh, and charge it reversely from this uh, cigarette lighter style plug-in that this is also hooked to Here's the fuse block. Um, purchased this just from Napa Auto Parts store, and uh, it's just a 12 volt uh, fuse block. And uh, the switch right here we got from a boat store. This is uh, from a Lund dealership. We just got a nice uh, panel switch, rocker switch. So that came from a boat dealership. So that's the electrical system, inside and out. All right, 
for charging I use this uh, extreme charger highly recommended I've had this thing for many years works awesome for charging gel style batteries um, and I have it connected to a, a, a male 12 volt prong all I do is shove it into the the lighter setup that, I, that we rigged up on the kayak and it reverse charges and it's a pulse charger it'll just sit and pulse charge this thing until the battery is fully charged and away it goes so works pretty slick